tab trigger signals. Here we've got a situation where we've got a platform, a train here, which is causing the um, uh, this signal to remain at red if you're going straight on. And we've got two, tr three trains rather. The first train is going to enter the platform. The second train is going to have to pass this signal or request permission to pass this signal and also enter the platform. And the third train, I'm not going to ask it to request permission to pass the signal and it will go straight on. So we're going to use our special trigger tab and I'm going to place it next to these bushes so that we know where it is because it's invisible when you're driving the route. Just click and click again. And we can configure which lit, which um, num train, first, second or third, fourth, fifth or sixth or whatever you've got, which ones get the tab request initiated. So let's put a number two for the second train only. This tab trigger needs to be um, bef after the AWS magnet and obviously in front of the signal. So let's give this a go and see if train number two asks to pass this signal at danger and causes the two white lights to illuminate. So here we are, we've got our three trains queued up. I forgot to mention in the prev uh, previously that the tab trigger is placed in the scenario editor, that's when it's best to be placed. It's not really designed for the world editor, it's a, it best to be used in the scenario. Editor. So there's our first train, it's going to go into the siding. Here comes our second train. Because the tab triggers at this bush is configured to trigger the tab message when you, the tra second train passes, not the first or the third, but the second, we should get the position light. Yes, we do. And here comes our third train. So we've gone back to red look. Third train is going to go straight on. The dispatcher does not actually pay any attention to the signals. All it, it is interested in is signal blocks. So despite this signal remaining at red, the train will go past it because I've configured the scenario in such a way as that the dispatcher thinks that it's okay to go into that next signal block. So that's why the tab, tab trigger is useful because we can make that signal clear properly so anybody who sees that AI train passing doesn't think, oh, it's gone past a red signal. If you leave the um, signal ID field empty, then all trains are sent, will trigger the tab trigger message to be sent.